What exactly does a green building look like? And how can you tell if a building is green? There are many elements of a green building to consider. When you ask yourself if a building is green, think about the building's location and how people get to and from the building, the building's site, the building's water use, the building's energy use, the materials used in the building and the waste generated by the building, and finally, the quality of the building's indoor environment. All of these elements go into making a green building. Let's explore each of these areas and see how they impact the environment and the people in the building. Where is the building located? How can you get to the building? Are there other amenities within walking distance? Green buildings are located in walkable areas near public transit and bicycle paths and open spaces and are close to services such as grocery stores, banks, doctor's offices, stores, and so forth. Buildings in these locations allow you to get to and from the building in sustainable ways and therefore cut down on pollution and emissions from automobiles. The location of a building can also benefit your health by encouraging walking and physical activity. What about the building's physical site? You need to consider whether a building site has been previously developed, whether it's close to any areas needing protection, like bodies of water, such as lakes and streams, or near farmland or forests, and whether the site needs to be rehabilitated from contamination or toxins. Green buildings are those that rely on previously developed sites and even rehabilitate damaged sites. This allows the building to avoid cutting down forests and other green spaces. As a bonus, buildings that have been previously developed are more likely to be near all those services that we talked about earlier. Next, do you know how much water and energy the building uses? Green buildings use less energy and water. They do this by cutting down the demand for energy and water. That is, making sure a building is using only what it needs. And then, making sure the building's equipment is being efficient with what it does use. And finally, whenever possible, the water and energy that green buildings do use comes from renewable sources, such as wind and solar for the energy used, or from captured rainwater for the water used. Do you know what materials the building was constructed with? What materials can you see in the building today? Green buildings use materials that have less of an impact. This means materials that take less energy to extract, process, transport, maintain, and dispose of. This could mean using building materials that were extracted near the building site, therefore cutting down on the need to transport them long distances. Or it could mean reusing existing materials, like creating furniture out of reclaimed wood, thus avoiding having to harvest or create new materials. Green buildings consider the entire life cycle of materials, including diverting as many as possible from ending up in a landfill. Finally, how do you feel when you're inside the building? Green buildings create healthy indoor environments. Green buildings have good indoor air quality, which helps protect the health of the people inside the building. This means that the materials in the building aren't releasing toxins into the air, and in fact, the building's ventilation is helping to clean the air. In addition to air quality, green buildings improve occupants' quality of lives through lighting quality, control over one's surroundings, access to natural daylight, and views of the outdoors. So how the building impacts you is a big part of whether or not it is a green building. The green building industry is on the cutting edge of technology and design. So what a green building looks like today may evolve as we discover new ways to design, construct, and operate buildings even more efficiently. Even today, different types of green buildings have unique needs. The green building strategies used in a classroom might look different than those used in an office or a hospital. While the specific strategies may look different in each of these spaces, the concept of green building is universal. Green buildings all work towards the same goal of helping people, helping the earth, and saving money by locating in dense areas, relying on sustainable sites, using less water and energy, using materials with a lower impact, and finally, providing a good indoor environment for people in the building. <laughs>